Sandy Monroe has finished the teardown of his uh, Tesla Model Y and he's going to be here in just one second to tell us the top five improvements that he saw Tesla made for the Model Y over the Model 3. But we're also going to talk about a couple of fun things that I'm sure you've noticed in some of his videos and we're going to do it all right now. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of electric car scoop. If this is your first time here, that's okay. All you have to do is click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, without further ado, here's my conversation with one of this channel's contributors, Sandy Munro. All right, Sandy, uh, welcome back to your segment here on this channel. And uh, a lot has happened since last time we talked. Yes, there has. Yes been a lot of stuff uh, you made back, I mean, you made more videos than i have ever made <laughs> <laughs> love it oh thank you that's good i'm glad you're happy yeah. all right all right well so we're going to talk about uh top five improvements that you see uh that tesla made uh, for for model y over what you've seen for the model three but yeah there are a couple of things, the couple of things we're going to talk about that people have been raving about uh that they saw in your videos and the first one, we should start with the whole window smashing thing with the bat, which we've all <laughs> greatly enjoyed. Yeah. But uh, tell me a little bit, how, how did that come about? And, you know, uh, did you in, enjoy actually doing it? I always enjoy ba bashing something. <laughs> it's uh, part, of, part of my psyche. So anyway, yeah, uh, actually, uh, Corey Steuben, uh, the guy who's the president of Monroe, uh, he thought it'd be a good idea because it's kind of boring to talk about glass uh, unless you smash something. And so uh, my sordid youth, uh, I knew I knew a few guys that uh, that spent uh, <clears throat> spent time on, on government vacations, and uh, that was one of the things that they used to do: is smash glass and steal cars. So uh, so anyway, this uh, uh, when Corey thought, hey, why don't we smash the glass? They, uh, they tried to find something that was similar to what uh, what Elon had done when he threw it at the Cybertruck. And I took a look at that and I said, ah, forget it. We're gonna do something better than that. So we had done a uh, we had done an analysis on this uh, oil water separator and there's a bat. Well, the bat is long and it's made out of stainless steel. And I said, we're gonna use this. And uh, so anyway, uh, um, I, uh, we, we just we went through all the boring stuff and then said watch this and smash because i wanted to show the granulation of the you know what happens with tempered glass so yeah it worked out good everybody here had a huge laugh well there was only two of us but we have virtually nobody in the building uh, uh because of the covid stuff so all of uh, the bits and pieces of the tesla have been taken out shipped to one of the other guys at home and uh, and they're they're basically taking it all to pieces there. But yeah, right. it was a lot of fun. Did you did you mean to actually throw them? Because I, the bat slipped out of your hands. Did you mean that or you just kind of flew right out? Uh, I wasn't going to hang on to that bat because, <laughs> quite frankly, when it goes through the window, uh, I don't know whether uh, I don't know whether I was going to bang into some of the uh, sheet metal or whatever. So just letting it go, you know, is uh, kind of the right thing to do. Okay. Again. Okay. Back to my sordid youth, I used to be a tool maker, and one of the first things you learn is, if it's falling, let it go. <laughs> got Don't it, hang got on it. it. Okay, yeah. well, I'll take your uh, window smashing uh, tips and uh, for the for the future reference. But um, oh, perfect. Yeah. Let, let's talk about the other thing. Is uh, in one of the episodes, or maybe even a couple of episodes of your of your videos. Um, there was a, a bottle of, C yeah. even though I'm Russian, I don't drink. There's, I know there's something probably wrong with my genes, but like it was a bottle of whiskey or something like that. So people were wondering, um, what was that all about? And, uh, you know, what was the occasion? Yeah, okay, so lucky you. Um, we uh, we actually- uh, Oh, there it is, the there it is. Yeah. You're keeping your so clothes, I like the that. Bottle. Yeah, this is a bottle that's being sent off to uh, Hungary. Mm -hmm. to a guy named uh, Gabor Simon. He, uh, he was one of the patrons and we do, uh, we do this little draw every once in a while and give stuff away. So he won this. Nice. And, uh, and the reason that we've got this is because uh, the guy said, uh, I did a, a thing for uh, Tesla third row and they're all drinking wine. <laughs> What's with that? They didn't share. <laughs> so um, 
we drink a lot of that stuff. I mean, normally, uh, the ordinary Canadian club, you, you mix with something else to, uh, but this, this is actually drinkable out of the bottle. So we've been going through a lot of this stuff lately nice, and it's nice. a, a little teeny bottle <laughs> costs you 25 bucks. It's a, uh, it's not cheap. But it's quite good. It's very yeah. good for a blend. The, yeah. the only bottle I have is is just water. So I'm I'm a little <laughs> way I'm way boring uh, for you. Well, but lucky right. you, I'm I'm just doing I'm only doing coffee today. So. All right, all right. Well, the the day is still young, but um, all right. Yeah, so <laughs> let's get into the real stuff here, and let's talk about the top five things that you thought were um big improvements and i think i know a couple but a couple of things you're going to say but uh let's start with in no particular order you don't have to prioritize them but let's start with number five well um i think that uh, uh one of the biggest things for me was uh when the when the car showed up and uh and i got a chance to look at the body um that body is uh i wouldn't say that it's on the same level as a bmw or a lincoln or something but uh, it's a vast improvement over what we saw uh, on the Model 3. Uh, so my number one pick would be uh, would be the um, would be the uh, uh, the body build. And they, they did a nice job. In, in what way? Can you just explain a little bit? Fit and finish. Um, the gaps are much better, even though they're not as good as they could be or should be. They're still like light years uh, ahead of what they used to be. Um, the uh, the body um, is uh, is nicely appointed. It uh, it doesn't have chrome. One of the things that uh, I've never been a real big fan of chrome. My uh, Jeep doesn't have much chrome on it at all. I think the badge that's about it. I I I, I like to I like the way it uh, it came out. So from a fit and finish standpoint, and uh, and the fact that they got rid of chrome, which is this is Earth Week, right? So. <laughs> Good idea. That's Chrome right. is not your best friend when it comes to Earth Week, so so that's that's one of the big ones for me. All right, so let's move on to number four. Number four is uh, another real simple one, and it has to do with the body. Um, <laughs> they got rid of probably probably eighty parts, and uh, and uh, at least. Uh, at least uh, an equal amount of spot welds and uh, uh, and uh, self-piercing rivets and whatnot by going to the to the new um, the new uh, die cast parts that are in the back, which the two parts that that make up pretty much one third of the back end of the car that's made out of aluminum. I was really happy to see that. That's really a big advancement. People that take chances like that, like the uh, sorry not Volkswagen, but uh, BMW. And Cadillac has tried it as well, but that's that's a that's a vast improvement over what they had, and it shows that the technology is going in the right direction. And and you believe that some of it was your original advice when you were doing the Model Three teardown, right? Well, I we definitely made a lot of suggestions and uh, and whatnot, but uh, all of the things that Tesla does are Tesla's, not not mine. I can make a comment. What they do with it is their business, and they chose to uh, to go and do something that I thought was a, a really good idea. Yeah. Well, so I'm wondering. I know you've uh, been, uh, uh, you know, kind of chatting on with e uh, Elon on a th well on Twitter, <laughs> I guess, right? Yeah. I, yeah. No, but, I, no, no. On tw uh, tw okay, I shouldn't say chatting. Uh, uh, you know, Elon made some comments about you know yeah. your your teardown. So uh, and uh, do you do you, you know why wouldn't they? take your advice like what what's what's the hold up here i guess because obviously the suggestions that you've given um were taken and appreciated and elon's not hiding it you know why aren't they utilizing maybe some of your suggestions or just direct help or is it something that you not that interested in doing well uh, uh usually uh if we're if, if somebody wants to have monroe they'll give us a call we don't have any marketing. We don't have any sales team, nothing like that. Uh, and so consequently, when people are interested, they'll call us and uh, and, and then we'll work with them. Um, but uh, he, uh, Tesla never called, so I don't want to impose that. Yeah, I don't think Elon knows how to use a phone. I think he just knows how to tweet. And so maybe maybe, <laughs> maybe you have a lot of messages. Maybe you have a lot of DMs on Twitter. You might want to check. Jeez, I don't know. I, I better... I better 
the uh, the other guys, uh, they all they all check that stuff right. for me. But as I told somebody this morning, uh, my life feels like a blur from from January to now. It's like I can't remember much of anything. It's, it's well, good uh, good thing you have it on video. You can rewatch yeah, exactly. your own channel. That's, <laughs> yeah, I don't, that's the other thing. I don't do much watching on my own stuff. But uh, all right. But anyway. Well, we got sidetracked. Sorry. Let's. Um, we're at number three now. Yeah. So number three, I think, is the uh, is the uh, induction motor, the front motor. Uh, I was really impressed when I uh, when I pulled the, uh, the I didn't pull the motor apart, but when uh, the tech here pulled the motor apart, um, and we looked inside, and and I saw the uh, I saw the uh, uh, the aluminum versus uh, versus the copper core that they used to have, and that was one of the other things we couldn't understand why they would even machining copper and uh, and vacuum brazing and whatnot it's extremely expensive there's a lot of things that that can go wrong you can get scrap and whatnot so pouring uh, aluminum is like a piece of cake so you take this stuff you squirt the aluminum in and it's all done and and it it seems to be uh, well i've driven the cars actually the blue one uh, uh i'm going to be driving a lot more but but the uh the thing, I mean, it goes like a little scalded cat. I didn't see any, or I didn't feel any difference. Now I do have the performance package in the red one. We had that, uh, so maybe that has a little something to do with it as well. But uh, I was, I'm pretty happy with, uh, pretty happy with the, uh, the performance characteristics. Now, let me ask you this: Do you think the improvement in the motor uh, also contributed to improvement in the range? Because people think it's just the battery that actually is in charge of the longer range, but it's also no. the motor. Do you think that also helped? There's a lot of things that that, uh, that affect range. Um, the battery, I think the battery is pretty much the same. Actually, that's one of the other things that I do like. They didn't uh, they didn't go and swap out for something else. The this battery pack looks very very similar. In fact, it's right over there. Uh, this battery pack looks very very similar to the uh, to the Model Three, and I thought the Model Three pack is it, still my favorite. And uh, so uh, they didn't change much. Um, I think that uh, the range that they've got, I think there's an increase. Like I've had a lot of people uh, writing in or telling us and whatnot, that they, they see a, a performance uh, difference. And some of that has to do with, um, with uh, friction uh, characteristics. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit, but we're not quite sure, but I think they're going to ceramic bearings, which give you less rolling friction. Um, I also uh, I also think that they've lightened it up in certain areas. We've seen little teeny tiny things that were done to try and uh, reduce the weight. So actually, that's I guess we're getting to number four. Um, number two, uh, they, I think we started. Yeah, so number two. Number two. Yeah. yeah. Well, we we started with five, right? And then we. Oh, oh, we got two. Left. I, listen, I'm not very good with numbers either. As, even though I'm Russian, <laughs> I'm not good with alcohol. Because I don't drink no. at all, and yeah, yeah, I know. I don't are you know. Sure, it's, you're Russian. You I know it's some sort of a birth defect, but I just yeah. never. I I tried everything. I just the taste. I just really? the, the taste. Just ah, oh, yeah, I can't. I've I've tried it recently again. Some red wine. I was like, you know, I'm getting older. It might be good for me, and I just couldn't, man. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe some therapy oh. will help. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but this is the end. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's how that's how I see. It. I wouldn't blame yeah. you. You wouldn't be the first, yeah. but. Okay, so well, I think we're numbered. I think we counted from uh, number five. But yeah, we're we're in a yeah, fourth we're item. Number, we're in a fourth we're item. Fourth item. Fourth yeah. item is uh, yeah. is uh, weight reduction, um, and um, and weight reduction, and 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 range improvement. I think, and the range improvement I think has come from a lot of different things. I think that they got rid of some weight. Uh, I think that they've uh, done a good job at uh, rolling friction. Um, and um, and weight and friction are the two things that basically uh, basically um, are the key characteristics. But then there's another one, and that is aerodynamics. And uh, and they buried uh, things like the um, the windshield wipers and things like that. They they've uh, they made it so that the car could be a little slipperier. Now we're going to send the uh, blue one out there for testing and whatnot, and then I'll know for sure. But uh, I think it's got better aero characteristics than the uh, than uh, the Model Three we have. All right. Okay. Well, so now we're down to last but not least. 
Yes, well, um, last but not least is uh, probably my my all time favorite is the uh, is the fact that they 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 didn't did not change the uh, uh, the uh, electronics bay. I uh, they made a couple of small changes to it that were obvious and they should have done before, but but I really really liked the electronics bay the way it was. And uh, the electronics bay dictated that they needed a, a better system for cooling, and so the electronics bay coupled with the new uh, the new uh, octo valve um, and uh, getting rid of the PTC heater and bringing in the uh, the heat pump that to me that uh, that cooling system and the electronics cooling system and one that all to me was the the high five. Those those are the five things that I think are were the best. All right. Well, so uh, let me ask you. Uh, well, let, let's talk a little bit about that blue car. So, what's what's the plan for that one? Because you're not taking that apart, right? Are you? No, no, we're not going to take that apart. We're going to test it. Um, we have uh, we have two uh, um, two companies that have expressed interest in having that done. The cost of testing a vehicle for the to the degree that these guys would like to have it done is worth a lot of money. Be about uh, seven or eight hundred thousand dollars if they tried to do it internally. But if uh, there are several of us, uh, if there's several customers, then what we can do is we can. Um, then what we can do is we can uh, uh, bring the price down to something where everybody can afford it. So uh, the car does not belong to me. It belongs to uh, another a consulting group in China, and they can't do anything with it right now. So. Um, I'm going to let them use some of our pieces so they can uh, do some testing and whatever. And they're going to let me use the car for testing, uh, like full capability testing. Yeah. So that that's kind of what we're, we're going to do. With it. Hey, listen, uh, once again, it's great chatting with you. And uh, thanks for running us through this. And I will see you uh, next month. Oh, will you? Where? Oh, oh, you're on, on this on channel. The All right. Oh, I thought you were coming to Detroit or something. <laughs> no, yeah. I wish. I wish. I wish. Yeah. All okay, right. good. All be right. well. Be well, my friend. Okay, we'll see you, Alex. Yeah. Bye now. All right. Well, I'm going to miss all of those awesome videos that he's been putting out almost every day, uh, though it's not over yet. Uh, as, as you notice, there's a second Model Y there, and uh, they're going to be doing some testing with that and putting out videos about that. So looking forward. But if you want to buy one of those parts, one of those Model Y parts or the full report. Uh, I put a link in the description of this video so you can contact them directly and uh, maybe you'll be doing business with the Monroe and Associates uh, yourself. I'm going to give a quick shout out to all of my Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. If you want to become a part of my Patreon community, go to patreon.com slash e4electric. I'm also going to put that link in the description of this video. By the way, don't forget to suggest the topic uh, that me and Sandy can talk about next month. Other than that, looking forward to your comments and remember to stay charged.